two days ago we climbed and we skied the north face of Mont Blanc and in this video I'm going to show to you what to pack and how to pack for the summit day. Hi skiers and welcome back to the channel. My name's Floss and I'm an international ski teacher and mountain leader here in the Northern Alps. Now this channel I help skiers to build confidence and knowledge outside the slopes and the boundaries of life. Now in this video today I want to talk to you about what to pack and how to pack for Mont Blanc. You don't have to have such a big sort of objective and you can use these tips for little small objectives as well. As Benjamin Franklin said, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So it's so important, preparation is everything. And if you can be light, then it's so important. It'll help you really be able to get up faster, up the mountain and down the hut really early in the morning I'll wake up and um, pretty much I'll have a, a light t-shirt breathable and a mid layer and a windproof jacket it was the 10th of June so um, there wasn't any wind forecasted so I just wanted something really light and windproof if it was colder I would actually then take a Gore-Tex jacket now on my bottoms I would have something like this which is a shell um, and the most important thing is that I've got the zips on underneath and also in the pockets um, I can put my snacks and I have another spare set of gloves in there as a liner so I'll have everything there and I've also got sort of sort of mid gloves rope gloves here attached so I'm ready to go now before I go out I'll make sure that my pockets would be full of snacks so it's really accessible to actually get the snacks um, and actually eat on the move which is very important. You want to eat about 20 every 20 minutes and keep snacking and grazing as it's a long day. You're really looking at sort of seven hours up and three hours down, which is pretty good. So it's a mega day. Now light is everything, on, especially on a summit day. Now what you can see is I've got my backpack here and um, it's a great backpack. It's a 28 litre. I've got these ski straps, which I use, and it's really easy to put my ice axe through. So ice axe on the outside attached and really accessible. Then I've also got my uh, helmet, the head torch already on. Okay, so this head torch is a Petzl head torch and I can actually have a long sort of sensitive lighting and a short one. Now going into the backpack, I want to pack the bag as how I use it. The bottom will be my warm gear. So it'll be the last um, that I actually use. So I'll have my really light um, a high altitude harness and um, one eye screw three carabiners and uh, and that will be attached already so when i'm ready going out of the refuge i'll quickly slip this on so i need to make sure that my skins are all dry and they're there really accessible so i can put the skins on now below my skins what i have is i will then have my cruto so I have here some ski crampons which I'll keep at the top because after my skins, because we're leaving early, the likelihood is to actually use the uh, ski crampons first. Then the next thing I'll have just another layer. I take one and a half litre minimum of water, which ideally is if you've got a sort of a soft sort of uh, drinking bottle then it condenses a lot quicker and then I've got my boot crampons okay so it's really important just to get a nice light pair this is just the Petzl um, hybrid ones and they're really good because you need to have a nice steel toe um, just so it's really solid and gives you a good grip on the last part of the summit and at the bottom which was really necessary I had my warm gloves okay which I'd put on pretty much around 4,000 meters. Then I've compressed my uh, down jacket here, just a small one at the bottom, and I'll put that on top before we climb up on the last part, over about 4,000 meters. For the refuge, really simple, toothpaste. I'll actually use the toothpaste and just leave a couple of sort of um, bits of toothpaste at the end so it's really light really i'm cutting everything down as light as i possibly can just a toothbrush an eye mask just to really sort of black out my eyes i'll have a poo bag and some tissue paper and a really small little bit of luxuries and that's just a few couple of toilet wipes 
And uh, in my bag as well, I'll just have a silk liner for the refuge, which you really use and it's just nice and light. And obviously I've just got the avalanche kit at the back, which is a shovel and probe. That's the shovel. So in my top part of my bag, I will have energy balls. Okay, so even more sort of supplies. Um, you really want to have literally like a big handful of food. I took a, a sandwich, a pan of chocolat. Um, I used four energy gels. I also used some uh, uh, energy balls, which I'm actually gonna put the link on um, to that above, how to make them. And then what I've got, which is really accessible, is uh, a helmet cover. So I can literally put this under the helmet when it gets colder at the top. I have a buff, which keeps me warm, and a bandana. Also really important is the category four lens glasses and factor 50 sun cream, really small and light. So small and light is, is really massive. Um, the guide that we were with, Ben, is also carrying the rope um, and first aid kit. So that really helped with the lightness. Whereas we took the bare essentials. I completely st stripped everything back. Um, I also took my Arva, which I put in the top pocket so it's accessible and I can put that on straight away. Um, I had some out sort of mittens, um, amazing. You just put them over your gloves. I used them around 4,000 meters to keep the wind off my hands. A gloop stopper wax, which I have done a video and you can see that as well. Some um, cold wax and some tape. So if I do get any blisters, I can just pop that on as well. Now, don't miss out on the video on the skis that I took. I just put the link on there and the link will be in the subscription below. Um, I was actually with Ben, the guide from Vertical Frontiers, which I'll actually put a, a link to his website down below. Now, if you find this video really helpful, give me a big thumbs up as that really helps the channel to grow. Um, and also think about subscribing and sharing your passion for skiing and the mountains. I'll see you next Sunday. More videos on Blomprong to come. Have a great weekend. Boom.